Hi guys, so today we are going to see how to compute inverse factorials. So this is a pretty commonly asked question and it has a lot of applications. So the question is simple that you have to compute 1 upon r factorial mod m and the input constraints are is that r is order of the order of 1 million and m is equal to 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Before jumping into the solution, let's look at some of the basic model and mathematics equations. So you must be aware about that a mod m is equal to can also be written as a mod m mod m and similarly a mod m mod m mod m and so on. Basically, uh, if you have got a remember, remainder by doing a mod with some number then you can repeatedly do that mod and the remainder will still be same. Similarly, the modulus operator can be distributed over addition and subtraction. So what it means is that a plus b mod m is also equal to a mod m plus b mod m and the whole mod m. Similarly, a minus b mod m is equal to a mod m minus b mod m the whole mod m. Similarly, it can be distributed over multiplication and also remember that a mod m can also be written as m plus a mod m taken as a whole modulus m okay so these are some very basic uh, model math, model arithmetic equations and i hope that you are aware about them so let's look at the solution so we know that r factorial can be written as 1 into 2 into 2 3 until r minus 1 into r okay so this is like what factorial represents Similarly, 1 upon r factorial will be inverse 1 into inverse 2 into inverse 3 until inverse r so here inverse i is denoting at 1 upon i so this is nothing just uh, this whole part written in the denominator okay so now we are required to compute 1 upon r factorial mod m so we can just take the mod on the whole right hand side and we get the answer and uh, based on the modular arithmetic equations which we visited so this modulus m can be distributed over multiplication so 1 upon r factorial mod m becomes inverse 1 mod m into inverse 2 mod m until inverse r mod m taken to the whole mod m now if we could somehow compute inverse i mod m then it's very easy to compute 1 upon r factorial mod m so let's see how we can actually compute this quantity so let's assume that we have already computed this quantity we'll see in a moment that how we can compute it but let's assume that we have already computed it and we are storing those numbers in this array inverse mod m so inverse mod m i is nothing but it denotes inverse i mod m so if we have this quantity then how can we compute inverse factorial r so it's very simple let's take an array inverse factorial and that array is of size r plus 1 okay so inverse factorial 1 will be 1 we trade start iterating from 2 to r and inverse factorial i will be this part on the return on the right hand side of the equation so it is nothing but just simply this that 1 upon i factorial mod m can also be written as 1 upon i to 1 upon i minus 1 factorial mod m Okay, so this is just the representation of this thing in code and eventually we just print inverse factorial r okay so now all we are left with is to compute inverse mod m how do we compute this thing basically how do we compute inverse i mod m so let's look at that <laughs> so here inverse mod m i is representing 1 upon i mod m okay that is inverse i mod m so we take this array of n plus sorry r plus 1 size and we just start iterating and inverse mod m1 will all will always be 1 and we start iterating from 2 to r and inverse mod i will basically be this big quantity now you can just memorize this formula i mean it might seem that is it is just a magic you know equation which gives you the answer but i am actually going to tell you the proof of this the mathematical proof behind it that how it works okay so that you can also derive it later if you in case you forget it and you will see that how simple this proof is just by using the mathematics which we have learned in class two or three we, we are we will be able to derive this so let's look at this see this is a very basic equation that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder okay so if i write m in terms of i so m here is the dividend and i is the divisor so quotient will be m upon i and remainder will be what m mod i so this is just this equation written this equation just represents that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so if i take take this divisor into quotient on the left hand side of the equation so i'll get that remainder is equal to divided dividend minus divisor into quotient so that's what i'm going to do with this equation so i took this part on the left hand side of the equal sign and i get that this remainder m mod i this remainder is equal to dividend minus divisor into quotient okay so nothing i mean no rocket science till now so what we do is that we take mod m on both left hand side and right hand side of the equality okay so this becomes m mod i mod m so i have not represented mod m here just so that it is easier to read but just remember that this mod m is here okay it will come later and 
you take the mod of this whole equation okay so as we saw in above in the modular arithmetic equation that mod can be distributed on subtraction as well so when that is distribu distributed so m mod m will become zero because m divided by m will give no remainder and this quantity becomes m upon i star i mod m okay now let's divide both sides by i star m mod i which will let's divide both sides of equality with this quantity so when we divide this quantity so what this m mod i this m mod i will basically cancel this m mod i and we'll get one upon i here so one upon i is nothing but inverse i and this will be minus of m upon i this i got cancelled by this i and we get into m mod i in the denominator so that is again nothing but inverse mod m mod i and mod m this mod m came from here that we had taken mod m on both sides so we got our answer basically inverse i mod m is equal to this quantity okay and i have just added one extra m here because this quantity is negative so remainder cannot be negative it can be between 0 to m minus 1 only we are taking mod m and i mean this also i told you in the beginning only that uh, in the basic modular arithmetic uh, equation which i showed you yeah so as we, you can see this quantity is equal to this and this i have already written here so if you compare then this and this are exactly same okay let me just copy write it here so yeah this you can see that uh, sorry this is exactly same to this so this is the proof of this uh, big magic equation which i showed you so now you can all compute inverse factorial modem uh, very easily i mean you have the formula as well as you can derive it as well so this is a very pretty pretty powerful question and it's uh, inverse factorial have many applications the most uh, common application is when you have to compute ncr modem okay so when you have to compute ncr modem so this inverse factorials come there because ncr modem is nothing but uh, this is this n factorial divided by uh, divided by r factorial into n minus uh, yeah n minus r factorial mod m okay so here this inverse factorial will come into picture so this one upon r factorial you can compute from this inverse factorial which i just told you and similarly one upon n minus r factorial mod m can also be computed from the inverse factorials which i just told you so this is the most common application for this inverse factorials and this is the question which is like very commonly asked in interviews and in acm icpc contest as well so thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video don't please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video and i will see you all next time